Insects are one of the main carriers of dangerous diseases like dengue fever and malaria. Every year, one billion people become infected with diseases transmitted by insects. Millions die. Researchers working with fruit flies have now discovered a completely new way of targeting insect pests more effectively. Ordinary pesticides wipe out entire insect populations, the beneficial ones as well as the parasites. With this new approach, we might soon be able to eliminate individual species, the parasitical ones. For example, the ones that attack cherry trees or act as a disease vector. The scientists are targeting the chitinous shell which every insect has. The chitin exoskeleton gives an insect its appearance and, like a knight's armour, protects it from bumps, toxic substances and bacteria. The exoskeleton is a kind of very specialised skin. A special obstructor protein plays a key role in forming the shell. It ensures the various parts of the shell bind together in a matrix. Without the obstructor protein, the protective chitin armour doesn't form correctly. When the protein's absent, the chitin layers don't bind together properly. The cuticle doesn't develop anymore. It disintegrates and loses its protective function. That applies to adult fruit flies and to their larvae, which also have a chitin layer. If the obstructor protein is absent in the larvae, their chitin armour doesn't develop properly and they remain immature, what the researchers call mutants. They're missing the gene needed to activate and control the production of the obstructor protein. The mutants are the ones that don't show up in green. This one here is a mutant, and as you can see, it's barely moving. The other larvae, the ones that show up in green, they're much faster and much larger, even though all the larvae are the same age. So the mutants are defective in their development. The defect means that when touched, the larvae simply burst. Their protective layer isn't functioning anymore. In the wild, larvae like these would never grow into adult insects. Fruit flies are a useful species for this kind of research. They reproduce rapidly and are easy to breed. And since all insects form their chitin exoskeleton in just the same way, the results can be applied to other insect species, like mosquitoes. What's key is we're not eliminating the adult flies, which are flying around and already feeding. This way we're attacking the larvae before they become adults, eliminating them and preventing the next generation from emerging. The scientists are now studying whether the obstructor protein can be switched off in other insect species. One day, they hope, that could help stop the spread of malaria and dengue fever. <laughs>